Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shunanda and today we are going to study a beautiful poem written by Henry Kyler Banner. The name of the poem is The Heart of the Tree. It is the first poem for ICC syllabus class 9. So let's begin. Before we start with the poem, let us know something about uh, the poet. Henry Kyler Banner was a 19th century American writer famous for his poems and short stories. He was born on 3rd August 1855 in Oswego, New York. The Tower of Babel is considered to be his most important play. Henry Kalabana died on 11th May 19, 1896 at the age of 40. So now let's go deep into the poem. So first we will know about the theme of the poem. What is the theme or the motif or um, the main aspects of the poem? So let's start. The poet attempts to educate the readers about the importance of planting trees for our survival. So this is the main theme of the poem that the poet is suggesting us, the readers, to plant trees. Why? Because planting tree, according to him, is a very important factor for our, our survival. Okay. This poem glorifies the act of planting trees and equate the man who plants a tree with God-like attributes. So, the poet over here has suggested or has requested or has elaborated the fact that planting tree is so important thing. We should plant tree. Why? Because it will help us to survive. Okay. And he, this, this poem particularly, it glorifies this act of planting. This act of planting tree has been glorified, okay, by the poet in this poem. And he says that a man who plants a tree is no less than a god, okay. So he's comparing a man who plants a tree to be godlike, okay. Why? Because he is doing something good for the next gener coming generation as well as for his own society so that is why he compares or equates a man who plants a tree with godlike attributes tree do not only beautify the nature but also provide a home to birds and offer a cool shade and oxygen to breathe so what are the various function of tree as been suggested by the poet in this poem he said the poet said that the tree not only beautify the nature it not only beautifies our nature trees not only brings greenery to our surrounding but other than that they also provide home to various animals and birds we all know that birds have built their nest on the trees and we also have many animals who survive on in the jungles okay so they provide homes to both birds animals and they also provide humans with cool shade okay and uh, and the most important thing that tree provides us is oxygen we breathe with the help of oxygen and this is provided by trees so they play such an important role in our ecosystem so planting tree is a great habit and that is why the poet said that a person who plants a tree is no less than god the poet gives a mes message that we must plant new trees to ensure a harmonious and stable way of living for us and for the generations to come so the poet here suggests us or give us a message that we should plant new trees and why to maintain a harmonious balance in the nature because if we cut down tree obviously the birds will lose their homes the animals will lose their home we will lack oxygen okay because they produce oxygen for us they provide us cool shade this all will be uh, diminished if we cut a tree and do not plant them that is why he is telling us the poet is telling in the poem he is requesting the readers that we should plant new trees why to maintain a harmonious and stable way of living for us as well as as for the generations to come so this is the main theme of the poem that the poem glorifies the act of planting tree and the poet tells the readers about the benefits of planting a tree and what benefits is going to give us as well as the future generation now let's go into the into detail study that is we are going to study in detail the first stanza and stanza wise the rest of the poem so here we will um, study the summary of the first stanza so let's see in the beginning of the poem, the heart of the tree, the poet poses a question to the reader. So, the poet uh, uh, begins the poem by asking a question to the readers. What is the question? Why we should plant tree? Why we plant tree? This is the question. So, when we start reading the poem, the first line itself tells us or asks us, the readers, question. What question? That why we plant trees. And who is asking us this question? The poet himself is asking the, his readers this question that why we plant tree. And then goes on to answer this 
his own question and after asking the question the poet himself gives answer to the question okay so in the first line the poet is asking the readers the question why we plant tree and in the following lines he himself is giving the answer to the question trees provides us cool breeze so why we should plant tree he is telling number one point is because trees provide us cool breeze and absorbs sun's heat obviously from the scorching heat of the sun who saves us the trees we get uh, we sit on the shade of the tree and the, the when the wind blows uh, the tree provides us with cool breeze okay these are all done by the tree so this is the first thing why should we should plant a tree the first reason for planting a tree is that it gives us cool breeze at the same time it absorbs sun's heat with the help of sunlight trees carry on the process of photosynthesis and maintain the balance of ecosystem so now uh, the poet is telling that with this with the help of sunlight what what does the tree do it with the, uh, it uses the sunlight to um, carry on a process of photosynthesis we all know that photosynthesis is a process of making food by the tree they make food for themselves okay that is how they cook just like we cook in kitchen the uh, trees they cook uh, with the help of photosynthesis on the leaves okay and they take the help of sunlight for that so during this photosynthesis process what they do they maintain the balance of the ecosystem okay the tree what does it do? uh, does the tree do it takes the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere we all know that the trees absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and what they gives out they give the oxygen okay they give us oxygen and why is oxygen so important because it helps us to breathe all the birds animals humans we all be breathe because of the oxygen and who gives us the oxygen these plants so that is why the uh, poet over here is telling us what, that this is why we should plant tree because firstly it gives us cool breeze it absorbs the sun's heat then it provides um, uh, maintains a balance of ecosystem it absorbs the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and releases oxygen which is very necessary for us to breathe and survive okay trees also provides homes to birds so beside all this function they have another vital function that is it provides homes to birds so these were the various reason that were uh, stated in the first stanza by the poet regarding why we should plant a tree i hope you have understood question uh, the first stanza of the poem it's a beautiful poem which is mostly dedicated or used for to glorify the planting of trees and importance of planting of tree okay now let's move on to stanza second in the second stanza the poet repeats the same question so again he asks the same question that why we should plant a tree and suggest more reason to plant a tree so beside suggesting all the points from the first stanza in the second stanza also he continues with the second, same question and he brings out more reasons to um, uh, reason to plant trees he adds that trees provide cool shade obviously tree when you have big trees around your in the surrounding of yours you know they provide us with cool shade cool breeze and they also are responsible for gentle rain they also bring rain which is so essential for us because without the help of rain we cannot harvest and if we don't harvest we are going to starve to death so the rain uh, is very important and um, trees are responsible for bringing rain right so that is why the poet is suggesting we should plant more uh, more and more trees trees will produce seeds and birds for future generation now these trees when we plant a tree what it does it produces food uh, seeds it pr produces flowers it produces birds and why they produce all this for the future generation because from one tree when they produce a bud they pr they produce a seed then from that seed another tree will grow so this is for the future generation okay years will pass by and the old tree will wither away means after years the old tree the mother tree will die but from the seeds that it had left behind new trees will grow so years will pass by and old tree will wither away wither away means it will perish it will die but the seeds of today means the seed that it has produced today will produce a new tree in the future so now this tree that has produced the seeds that this tree has produced this will remain and they will produce new tree in future okay but so this the tree of the present it will die with the passage of time just like humans we die with the passage of time okay but our children will be the future generation similarly for a tree the tree will die with the passage of years but it will leave behind the seeds which will grow in 
uh, tree for the future generations okay the poet calls this tree the glory of plain why why is he calling the tree glory of plain because the trees they make the earth look beautiful they make the make our earth greener beautiful place okay it gives a nice picturesque um, view for us okay if you we will if you look at the sea field if you look at the field if you look at the jungle if you look at the our surrounding it's full of greeneries and who is produ um, bringing this greenery who is giving us this greenery the trees are the more is the tree around us the more will be the greenery and this is so soothing for our eyes so that is why the poet is calling the trees glory of the plain because they make the land look green and beautiful the poet suggests that we should plant trees not only for ourselves but also for future generation to come so we should plant tree not for ourselves but for our future generation because if today we cut down all trees and we do not plant any tree in future there will be no tree and our children they will um, suffer because of this because if you don't have tree you will have lack of oxygen you will have lack of rain you will have lack of everything which will disturb the ecosystem and eventually it will harm mankind so for the benefit for the safeguard of our future children future generation we should in the present plant trees the more we will plant trees it's going to give benefits to our future generation that is why the poet in the second stanza is telling us that we should plant new tre uh, trees not for not only for us ourselves for benefit of ourselves but also for the benefit of the coming generations i hope you have understood question uh, the stanza 2 uh, let's move on to stanza 3 that is the last stanza of the poem in the last stanza the poet says according to the poet a man who plants a tree does so because of his loyalty towards his society neighborhood and family so why does the poet think a man do, uh, plants a tree why should we plant a tree what is the reason why because we are loyal and we are responsible to our society our neighborhood and our family that is why we will plant a tree and why is it so because if we plant a tree today it will give benefit to us in future if we sow a seed today it will grow up to be a plant in future which will give oxygen to us which will give home to birds which will maintain a balance in the ecosystem which is very important for sustenance of mankind in on earth right so that is why the poet says a man who plants a tree does so because of his loyalty towards his society neighborhood and family because he is loyal to them because he is answerable to them that is why he plants a, a tree the man who plants a tree is given a god like attributes as he takes care of the well-being of people so here in the last stanza the poet says a man who plants a tree is um, is given a god like attribute he is compared or equated with god why because just like god has created earth and us all similarly when a man plants a tree it helps maintaining that balance of in the on earth and also it helps uh, the future generation okay it helps to maintain a equal balance in the ecosystem it helps to maintain um, Uh, maintain uh, helps us to have uh, all the benefits like we get cool shade we get enough rain we get oxygen all this we get because of um trees and planting a tree is such a important thing planting a tree by a man is an important act why because it's not going to help us not only is going to help us in present but in also in in future also it's going to help us it will uh, maintain the eco ecosystem of earth and also help us and our future generation to survive even the birds and animals will survive if we have plenty of trees around us so that is why the poet is saying in the last stanza that a man who plants a tree is no less than a god just like god has created humans god has created everything on earth similarly by planting a single tree a man is protecting the environment man is protecting humankind he is thinking about the well-being of people because the tree a single tree can produce oxygen for humans to breathe to survive it can bring rain which is good for crops otherwise we have to starve to death it gives provides home to birds and animals it maintains balance in the ecosystem so having plants around us is so important for us by planting tree he initiates a step in the path of progress of the nation so by planting a tree what a man does he 
initiates a step in the path of progress so it's lead us to progress it leads to the progress of the nation by planting a tree okay by deforestation we will destroy the um, animals we will destroy birds and eventually this is going to harm us why because less is the number of trees less will be the oxygen produced less will be the maintain, uh, balance of ecosystem and this will all harm the humans in future so we as responsible human beings we should plant more and more tree so that not only us but our future generation can derive benefit out of it so this is the main theme of the poem the poem is a beautiful poem uh, by henry um, butler bunner and he in this poem he has depicted the beauty of tree the importance of planting a tree he has glorified the act of planting a tree and he has told us he has given us several reason why we should as responsible citizens plant tree for ourselves and as well as for the future generations so i hope you have understood this poem this is a very beautiful poem and in case you have any doubt regarding it you can let me know in the comment section till then thank you and keep watching my videos and please don't forget to share subscribe and like my channel thank you